I discovered the most magical website where you can buy iconic celebrity dresses for super cheap. <laughs> I can't wait to open these. It's called thecelebritydress.com and you can buy remakes of your favorite celebrity dresses that cost them thousands of dollars, but for a fraction of the price. Celebrities throughout the years have graced our screens and the red carpets with everything from denim to diamonds and all of the bizarreness in between. <laughs> and why should any of us care what they're wearing? I don't know. Humans and their fascination with certain other humans are so weird. I don't know about you, but I have always wondered what would it be like to own a dress like that? To wear a dress like that? But also not have to pay $100,000 for it. Today we're about to find out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So the first video I ever watched from Mia Maples was when she purchased from this site and I thought to myself, I need some of those. I'm curious to see how close they come to the real thing. I'm saving the best for last, or at least the most expensive and most extra for last. So make sure to watch till the end of the video. I think there's two dresses in this one. It's a, another bag. There it is. Oh, we. Yes. Okay. Save that one for later. This is Taylor Swift's yellow halter dress from the Wildest Dreams music video. The whole music video is beautiful, but this dress has this dreamy long train. This dress better have the train. If it doesn't, I don't know, I'm gonna be sad. Wow, okay, this feels nice. This little inside tag says celeb. I got a six in this. I got a six in all of them. All of their dresses come in a size two to a 26. And then you can also pay $9.99 and they'll do a custom size for you. We love the size inclusivity. I'm so excited for this. <gasps> The interesting thing about this website is everything is always on sale. So it said that it was a $469.99 dress, but it was on sale for $199.99. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's everything I hoped it would be. Well, I can't zip it by myself. We got this little guy that I can fling around. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm ready to run through a field of zebras. I wanna see how long this thing is. 20 feet. The only noticeable difference that I can see in my dress versus hers is I feel like if this satiny part was a little bit darker, if these two colors matched a little better, I think it would be pretty spot on. And it's obviously a little bit wrinkled, but it was pretty smashed in that package. The length of the dress is great. I'm pretty impressed with this, honestly. By the way, all of these dresses come with a ton of different color options if you don't want the color that's in the picture. I was a little nervous though, because I went to the question section of this listing and somebody asked if they could see pictures of the actual dress made by them. And their response was just, you're looking at it. It's exactly like the pictures. <laughs> None of these listings I looked at had any reviews or photos. So I was a little bit in the dark about what I was getting, but I think this one's great. Let me know what you think though. Does it look cheap or do you think they did a pretty good job? Here's the other dress that was in this package. So this one is Kylie Jenner's sexy red dress that she wore to a 2020 Oscars party. I think this one's gonna be pretty accurate. Oh, and this is cool. It has like a silicone band around the top. So this one is $369, but that's crossed out. And I actually got it for $149.99. Oh my gosh, I can't move my arms. If I just hold really still, it looks really good. This top part's the issue though. Gosh, I don't know. I would imagine most celebrities dresses though are not meant to move around in. They're just meant to look good in pictures and that's exactly what this dress is. Although my low waist is looking snatched up. Okay, the silicone's not exactly doing its job. <laughs> That slit is high. Is that how high her slit was? Holy cow. Okay, minus the top half being so tight, I feel like they did a really good job on this dress. Does it look like a $10,000 dress like hers probably was? No. But does it look like a nice $300 dress? Yeah, probably. Honestly, I feel like this website would be great for prom dresses. Like a dress you're gonna wear one time, you can get some inspiration from your favorite celebrity. By the way, the dresses like this one that I'm probably never gonna wear, I'm going to donate them to a place called Becca's Closet. It's a really cool organization that gives prom dresses to young girls in need. And like $179 isn't cheap, don't get me wrong, but for a prom dress, I feel like that's not bad. Like back in 2012, my prom dress was $500. That freaking dress. I fell in love with this dress. I mean, come on, cheetahs and sparkle. That's like the epitome of mid 2000s fashion. And I was begging my dad to let me get it. And he said, I'll buy it for you if you give me all of your graduation money that you get. 
so my graduation day came along. We were sitting at a Mexican restaurant. I was eating my enchiladas, opening my cards, collecting all the money, and he said, hand it over. I had about $600 from all my family and friends, and I had to give it up because I wanted the dang prom dress. $600 for what to impress my date that ended up being my third, no second, most messy breakup ever. You know, I was mad in the moment, but it taught me a very valuable life lesson. <laughs> So anybody that's in high school watching this, just be smart, work hard, rent or borrow your prom dresses. And then when you're old like me, you can just spend your money on whatever you want. Once again, people in the questions on this listing were asking for pictures and no one was giving them. So I am going to do my duty and go post reviews and pictures after this of all these. <gasps> oh, I remember what this one is. Oh my goodness. This is the first dress that really caught my eye when I was perusing the website. Oh, this one has a note with it. So this is a blushing pink backless dress worn by Hailey Bieber at the Met Gala 2019. That's a lot of sequins. <laughs> oh, wow. So all the dresses on the site have a little bit of info on them, whether it's like a zip up back corset and then what type of material it's made out of. And this one just said sequins. <laughs> so, but it looks like a regular like polyester cotton liner and then a layer of the sequin fabric over top. Okay, I'm kind of bummed though because one of the most like statement pieces about this dress was the little like jewel back jewel thong looking, but this doesn't have that. This one said $459, but I got it for $179.99. This is the dress that I was the most nervous about because like this dress looks like it's painted on her. It's made for her. <laughs> Can we please get a shot of the back, girl? Look at that back. Oh, snap. But. Wait, I really love this actually. It doesn't go quite as low as hers does. So I don't think there's necessarily a need for like jewels. This is beautiful. Like I feel like anywhere else to find a full sequin dress, it is $200. What do you think though? Can you see that? <laughs> That's the one issue. It's a little scratchy, which is to be expected with sequins. <laughs> and this is pretty tight, but. Okay, the other thing though is the length of hers. Oh, this one's. This one's still pretty long. Not quite as long as hers. I feel like that's what gives the effect that she's like seven feet tall though. Ready for our date? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> wow, so shiny. We're going to our favorite fancy restaurant, the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Painfully overdressed for Cheesecake Factory. Oh, but look at my husband that dressed up with me. <laughs> that's true support. There you go. This is kind of funny. Here I am just filming you. <laughs> Why so fancy? Oh, just for fun. <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. <laughs> okay, here we go. The grand finale. Hopefully this one was worth the wait and hopefully it was worth the money because it was very expensive. I thought it was weird too. All the other ones came from China, but this one came from California. Oh no, this one looks like it came from China too. So maybe the company's based out of California, but they actually make everything in China. Oh, why does it smell bad? Oh my goodness. Almost there. Come on. <gasps> wow, they really did a number on this with the tape. Oh. Okay, so this dress is Cardi B's pearl pink strapless princess ball gown that she wore to the 2019 diamond ball. I think it was an event that Rihanna put on. Whether you love Cardi B or hate Cardi B, I think we all have to admit she's given us some interesting looks. <laughs> Like I learned that this dress that she wore, those are two real rubies and they cost $250,000 each. Why does this smell so bad? Is it the dye? This little number, it's on the website for $1,359, but it's on sale for $629.99. That's what I got it for. The heck, it's inside out. Hold on. There it is. It is just layers upon layers of this tool. This is interesting because like there's parts of it that look super cheaply sewn, like the tool on the inside, which you're not going to see that part. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's a dress. The grand finale. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, this one fits so well. I feel like a cupcake. <laughs> I was terrified of this dress. Look at that. <laughs> wow. So I wouldn't say it's exact to the original dress by any means. Like these ruffles are pretty thin and flat compared to hers. Hers look like actual like cake layers. And then this chest layer in comparison to hers is a little bit thin and flimsy as well. I don't know, they almost needed like 
a thicker, more stiff type of tool, and then it probably would have worked. I'm not mad about it, but I don't think anybody is necessarily gonna be mistaking me for Cardi. <laughs> Was this worth $629? I mean, I can tell that this took a lot of material and probably a decent amount of time. I don't know, it's just, there's too many like, things that are weird about it for me to say this one was worth it. What do you think? Does it look like a $100,000 dress? Does it even look like a $600 dress? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like their version is like a more wearable version of hers. Like, why are you so scared of this dress? So is the celebritydress.com worth it? I mean, I think so. They have some fun dresses and they're not terrible. If you do get one for like prom or a special occasion though, I would keep in mind you might have to spend a little bit of extra money to get it tailored to fit you exactly. But I also didn't like leave any notes with my exact measurements. So I think if you did that, you'd probably get a dress if it's a little bit more exact. Leo and I picked out some other videos down below that we think you might like. In particular, I bought Kardashian used red carpet dresses so if you haven't watched that video Leo and I will see you guys over there say bye YouTube